Hello, welcome back to the channel. So this is the first in probably a video I should have done a long time ago. Um, this is for my new build that I'm doing. I'm building chopper. So this is my 1-1 scale chopper that I'm building currently at the moment. He's still in the production phase where he's still getting stuff built for him, things added. Um, the majority of the prints are done. Um, all I have left to do is wait for some square nuts to turn up so I can finish his right hand foot drive um, to go into the foot shell. This one's already completely finished. Um, I just need to put the motor in it and the VEX wheels which turned up today from the awesome uh, awesome guy Darren who's in our club. He managed to finally find a few um, VEX wheels in the wild and secured some for us. Um, a couple of days ago I finished doing the centre wheel so I just need to get the tyre put on this now again the awesome Darren printed me the centre tyre in TPU so that's to go on there um, but apart from that pretty much he's kind of nearly on a, on a rolling basis so most of the stuff on him is done structure wise um, the doors are on, the arms are on all the bearings are in, things like that um, he is a pretty hefty bit of kit, so that's the inside of Chopper. Um, he's got a few upgrades that have been done. Um, his dome is pretty heavy. This was all achievable by my friend Darren. Basically, um, always wanted Chopper. Uh, another guy in our club's already got Chopper, so I thought, you know, I'll do an Astromech instead. But see an Imperial Chopper, Imperial Disguise Chopper in the greys and blacks like the mini one that I made which is up there um, I thought you know I've got to own my own one so Darren kindly messaged me and said you know I'm going to be printing a chopper do you want me to do you one as well and I was like take my money I sent him a, a buttload of cash and he got an absolute stash of filament and he was kind enough to print me the entire body, the dome, um, and some parts for the legs and the foot shells as well. So all I had to really do was just the centre foot, a um, couple of bits for the legs and things like that, and, and you know, he's, he's there. He's a project that I'm aiming to get done probably within the next, probably four to five months, um, ideally. Now the weather's getting a bit better over here in England. Um, it's going to become more feasible now for me to get out and start working on sander down the dome, getting that all smoothed off, um, finishing off the little bits, trying to get some bits done in resin um, just for extra detail. But now it's kind of mainly all just the prep phase of sanding, filling, painting, and doing that repeatedly for probably about two months. Um, as I said, he's, he's near enough rolling. Um, just got to wait for some more square nuts to turn up to finish the other foot drive and he'll be standing and rolling around on his own um, he will be doing his hopefully be making his debut at Norcon in Norwich this year um, I'll be going with the, the gang of Norwich droids again um, we, we'll have all our display there um, all our astromechs things like that the probe droid that was at Star Wars Celebration that Tom made from our group he will be taking that to Norcon so if you want to check that massive massive build out please do come on down um but yeah i'm happy with progress on them it has been quite slow um just mainly due to you know funds things like that i've had other things to pay out for a lot of the issue with building him just come over to here was all of this stuff so all the the hardware side of things so you know trying to source a siren 10 um i also had to try and get myself a saber tooth so i managed to managed to get myself one of them that was incredibly hard to do um, I think that set me back probably all the electronics wise you know like the sonic hubs things like that so all the bearings and what have you um, that will set me back easily probably two or three months worth of money um, just because if I didn't get him now I won't be able to get him later on he will be my last astromech for a while just because I am running out of room um, I'll turn around obviously because I've got R5 sitting in the other corner um, he's now 100% finished um, finally got R5's um, arms work and doors open and things like that so he's now completely 100% finished and now I can focus on Chopper but yeah all in all he's he's turned out to be quite a good a good little astromech you know 
it was nice to build something quite big again um, and having the silent motherboard upgrades for the enders really did make a difference because I was able to do some really long overnight prints like the shoulders um, and the parts for the foot drives and things like that um, these parts on the shoulders I think these are about 16 hours um, luckily my friend Darren printed me all the centre parts and things and I just need to do the little greeblies blue is probably not my, my favourite colour to have chosen but it was a cheap filament that I managed to pick up off eBay. I think I got like eight rolls for about 65 quid. So, you know, I couldn't I couldn't turn it down. And surprisingly, it actually prints very, very well. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to be a hard paint job. Um, being Imperial Chopper, he's essentially just a black dome with some red markings. Um, and the body is pretty much all grey. Same with the legs um, and with a few black details here and there. You know, so it's going to be quite an easy paint job compared to um, R5 where I had to spray absolutely tons and tons of cans of white paint just to get a decent coat. He'll be done pretty much all in primer and then I'll give him a satin varnish finish and, you know, he's done. Uh, full LEDs, my friend Jason um, from our, our founder of our club, um, Norris Droids, he will... He said he will be helping me with the electronic side of things so he's going to be doing um i gave him a resin printer um because uh not a resin printer a wash and cure station for his resin printer because i sold my resin printer because i couldn't get on with it um and he said you know because i gave him that he, he helped me with the electronic side of things so he's going to be doing all the elect wiring up all the electronics for me um lights to the domes things like that just because um he's built cheap so he knows he's managed to get a really good program down for all the you know the movements doors arms and things like that. he said he's gonna, i'm gonna have the works he said he's not i'm not cutting back on stuff so i'm gonna have the whole the whole shebang which would be quite nice um but yeah so that's probably a little bit of a ramble but hopefully in uh, probably a month or two time i'll be doing an update on chopper and we will get him up and running so thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again for another chopper update